Hello. I'm out in the market garden today, just uh, getting this bed prepared for planting. I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm. So this bed had corn uh, and onions and some beetroot, oh, well maybe that's sorrel, uh, looks like it's sorrel. Uh, a fair share of weeds in it this year and I have been uh, clearing most of that. There's some strawberries that I've lifted from over there. Uh, that looks like an onion. So I've cleared uh, most of this and um, I've put up some hoops because I've got some um, cabbages that I've um, grown from seed which I planted in I think it was October and I'm going to pop these in and I'm going to put some netting over them uh, not to protect them from uh, butterfly and moth uh, but from my feathered friends uh, and also any rabbits that might appear I'm not <laughs> I'm not convinced that we've got rabbits here but I have seen them uh, once in the past and well I might as well put the protection up uh, while I can so uh, what it's going to come off is the Brussels sprouts that I'm over there uh, and it will go over here and I'll weigh it down with bricks hopefully that will stop any birds getting in uh, and stop my big birds from getting in now the turkeys are not free ranging um, except for uh, the odd half hour or so that I'm out here doing stuff in which case I'm letting them out to uh, spend a bit of time with me other than that they're in their very large pen um, just over there what are you lot up to let's go and find them Come on then. So this netting uh, has been on here. Uh, for the whole growing season. <laughs> uh, I haven't weeded this area so it's been absolutely chock-a-block full of weeds um, which is not great. <laughs> right so here we go. This is a scaffold debris netting which is designed to go uh, on the outside of scaffolding that's going around buildings uh, and to prevent uh, anything dropping onto the public. Uh, and it comes uh, in, the, in various different widths but the black lines down it have got holes in it for fixing it to, or, um, to whatever structure uh, is holding it. Uh, I've taken the sewing machine and just uh, sewn down uh, and made a small seam uh, so it doesn't have gaps in it anymore which stops the butterflies and moths getting through it and uh, just makes it a bit more, <laughs> bit more effective. This would kind of work as it is um, but I think I'm going to put uh, some canes going between the hoops uh, to raise it up uh, on the centre. So I'll go and find the canes and I'll find some string and we'll get that fixed on. So I've got some canes and I've also got these 
um, connector things which are designed to allow you to build a, a structure out of canes um, and I'm gonna gonna use these um, on the ends just to stop uh, the end of the cane poking through the netting so one on there and one on here lovely that will go that end now in theory i think if i join them at the middle that might be long enough just about to reach uh, right across but it's going to leave a bit of a weak spot uh, in the middle so i've got a third cane um, which I'm going to use to brace it across the middle uh, so that's a little bit stronger. And I've also got some baling twine. So I'm starting by very, uh, very roughly tying all three pieces together at the centre. Then uh, I'm going to fix the ties here. So this is on the bracing piece at the centre. And the other one at this end to brace it here. Hello, boys. I've been asked uh, what's going to happen to the turkeys. Well, they're not disappearing at Christmas, that's for sure. Uh, they will be with us longer than that. But I do have two boys and one girl, and in the spring, that's going to be a problem. Um, so in the spring, I will have to make a decision about which of the boys uh, stays with us and which of the boys um, goes off to freezer camp. It's not a decision I make lightly. Um, because you're my friends too, aren't you? Yes. Well, they're not actually friends. You know, that's the thing. They're not pets, but um, I do want them to have the best life that they can <laughs> they can have while they're, <laughs> while they're with us. Um, and I'm, I'm not yet decided whether we will keep uh, one male, one female. Um, and... Um, use them for breeding I really don't know I haven't I haven't made that decision I'm not going to uh, make any great pronouncements about it because <laughs> I just don't know what I do know uh, is that I'm really enjoying having the turkeys and I enjoyed having turkeys last year um, So let's start, let's make a start. I'm going to do this uh, I have to make the structure strong enough that my feathered friends uh, can jump on it because they will You will, won't you? I know. Thank you. 
find my gloves. Hello my darlings, what are you up to? Are you heading backwards? There we go, that's better. It's stopping it from sagging uh, so much. And to be honest, I could do with some more hoops here, um, but I haven't got them at the moment. They're all being used. Um, and once I have got them, I, I will add them in.